hi guys welcome back to a new vlog if you are new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe i know we've had a lot of foot traffic on our channel we have a lot of new subscribers so hi guys if you're new here i'm nina and i am back home i just came from a las vegas trip i have my las vegas crew neck on and i got here home you guys around like 1 a.m last night I wasn't even supposed to like drive all the way home. I landed in Sacramento and I was like, I just need to get home to the kids and Jose. I need to be home because it was a long four days, you guys. This was my first time ever being away from the kids, especially overnight like this for multiple days. I was away from Elise when I, ha when I was in the hospital like with Enzo, but that was like the only time and she was with my closest people. So I was like a little more at ease, but this time you guys, it was rough. The kids were safe. The kids were definitely safe and good. They were with their family and their dad, but it was just still difficult, you guys. It was very difficult, like I said, because it was like one of the first times ever doing this, especially going on a like trip. So it just felt good to be home and see them. And it was so sweet because I walked in the room, you guys, they were both asleep and then as soon as I start talking, I'm like, hey, they, they wake up, I lay down next to them, and then they literally pass out instantly. It was like if they were like waiting for me to get home. And so, yeah, it was just good to get here, you guys. With the Vegas trip. <laughs> the Vegas trip was so fun. I went for my 25th birthday, you guys, and this was like my first adult experience in Vegas. I've been there once before. I mean, I've been there multiple times, but the most recent time i was only 18 so i didn't get to gamble i didn't get to like do all that stuff and so now i did i went to gamble i went to get drinks basically did the whole thing and i love the vibe there i'm like such a city girl nightlife night owl and so that vibe is just my favorite super super fun and it was nice to like get dressed up and get cute um i love to do that it's one of my favorite things <laughs> but yeah it was good you guys it went with family so it was like a super chill super chill trip that was much needed and i think my favorite place that we went you guys like if you want some fun places to gamble have good drinks i mean everywhere like at all the casinos as long as you're gambling and you're sitting on machines playing they go around to give free drinks all you have to do is like leave them a tip but my favorite place to gamble was at the cosmo that that place you guys is my vibe for sure i think next time i go to vegas i want to stay there because where we stayed at if you're curious, I stayed at the Palace Station Hotel and that was like probably five, six miles away from the strip. So we still had to Uber. We weren't like right on the strip, but I think next time I for sure want to be on the strip. And I think the Cosmo is a really fun place, you guys. The casino like is so fun. The machines actually give you money to play. They're not stingy, which I love because at the casino we stayed at, the, um, the machines were not like as giving. I feel like I put a $20 in and I would lose it so fast. And so, yeah, I just, I love to like jump around at machines and the Cosmo is a really fun place, you guys. But we went to multiple, we went to like the Bellagio, we went to Planet Hollywood. That's also a fun spot too. I've heard good things about that. But honestly, the overall trip, you guys, was really fun. It was so much to do. One thing I didn't do that I want to do next time also is that I don't know if you guys have noticed they have like a little Eiffel Tower there and that's an elevator. I didn't know this. I thought it was just like a little statue of like, <laughs> you know, just decor, but it's a, um, it's an elevator you can go up in when you get to the top. They actually let you get off at the tip and you can take photos. And I didn't get to do that this time, but I want to do that next time for sure. That's like a bucket list moment. I'm like, if I can't make it to the real Eiffel Tower, Tower in Europe right now, I'm gonna go to the one in Vegas. So, yeah, so that was like a little recap of my trip, you guys. It was hard to enjoy it, definitely, because I had the kids on my mind 24-7, but I tried because... I really just tried, though, because I was like, I don't get a lot of me time. I'm always with the kids, you guys, 24-7, and I, I love being a mom. This is not me complaining, because... Being a mom and being with my kids is like the best thing ever, 
but it's also nice like to get away for a little bit and so i'm back home now you guys i um i need to do a lot today we need to do a lot we need to get groceries we're gonna go to like um i think tractor supply is the name basically like a little hardware store we're gonna go look at some things and then i also wanted to pick up the kids a water either a pool or a water slide so it is getting hotter in cali and so we need something for the kids to distract in play with the water so we're gonna go look at stuff you guys and then i'll show you which one we get and like the whole setting up process Mama's hand too? Yeah. Okay, my girl. We are now in tractor supply. We just dropped off the truck to get the tire fixed and we're looking at pools, you guys. I was telling you the kids do need a pool. I think I like that one. I mean this one's nice too, but just to start off, I think this one would be a good choice. What do you guys think? Yes? Yes to a pool? <laughs> you wanna do a pool? Ellie's ready with her sun hat. I love her little sun hat. So I know this is for pets, a little splash pad, but I feel like sitting Enzo on here would be perfect. I mean, he's little, so I feel like that would be perfect. I don't know. What are you guys thinking? It's only $9.99. Okay, I think Enzo likes this splash pad. <laughs> I think he likes it. <laughs> I put the splash pad in there with him. You guys, this is his first time ever sitting in a cart and it makes me so sad but happy. Bittersweet moment. He's growing up. And says, if you want, yeah. If you want to, that would be cool. That baby boy. He's seeing his steel and his steel and his sister. Yeah, I know. We're checking out. Those are cute. We're checking out all the baby chicks, you guys. They have some in the store. Well, those are those are bigger chickens, but I don't know if you guys can see them. It's not focusing, but they have a bunch of baby chicks. It's so sweet. They got the cinnamon queen. Oh yeah, boy. <laughs> Is this too being funny? These are nice too. <laughs> he loves the ball. Yeah, those are bigger too. Oh, be careful, Elise. <laughs> oh, that yeah, baby boy. The turkeys are double the price. another one that has like the whipped cream on it already and it's only a half. I think I might do this. Mm. This one looks the best.
tinga. I had cooked tinga yesterday. If you don't know what this is, this is chicken with all kinds of like onion, tomato, a sauce, and we put it over tostadas with sour cream and lettuce. So I'm making some leftovers from yesterday. And then you guys, I wanted to make, so I've been making this drink that I love from Instagram. I've seen it on a reel. And it's basically like a Jamba Juice smoothie with wine. It's one of the best drinks I think I've ever made myself. It's pretty yummy. Yeah, baby. So these are what the tostadas look like. I basically put the sour cream, the lettuce at the bottom so it doesn't slide off and then my chicken at the top. So I eat tinga tostadas with hot Cheetos. It's a really good combination. Go right here, go right here. Can I eat hot Cheetos right here? Yeah. Okay, so I have it with some hot Cheetos. Cheers. So I just finished eating dinner. The tostadas were so, so yummy. And as you guys can tell, I have a full face of makeup on. I just did my full face because I am about to film another video. So I wanted to get all ready, but I do want to make that drink I told you guys about. This will be my second time making it. And I was obsessed the first time, you guys. I want to show you the Instagram clip that inspired this. I was just inspired by all these like cute drinks I was seeing. And I just decided to pick one. White wine slushies, the perfect thing to keep on hand if you have a bottle of dry white wine and some frozen fruit you can whip this up in no time start with 16 ounces of your favorite frozen fruit i think berries would work well here but i went with peaches today added a bottle of sauvignon blanc about half of that bottle blended in some orange liqueur and a little bit of sugar just to round it all out it was so good full recipe details are below enjoy okay so you guys seen the video right it looks really good okay so i basically have my frozen fruit i'm gonna go with the mixed berries i know in the video the girl had like frozen peaches but mixed berries you guys it's also really good this is how i had it the first time i made it and it almost tasted like a jamba juice literally a jamba juice with alcohol it was like the perfect blend perfect summer drink and then for the wine you guys so the wine i'm using is blue canyon Sauvi sauvignon blanc i don't know how to pronounce it exactly but i can put the name on the screen if that helps you guys to search it but yeah this is such a yummy wine for this drink i don't know a lot about wine i've i'm barely like getting into it but this is like perfect white wines are perfect for like fruity drinks more like mixed type of drinks and then so the girl in the video <laughs> the kids are watching cartoons the girl in the video did re did recommend a few things to add in there but i just added two packets of sugar just the sugar wine and the berries is like perfect so that's what i'm gonna use today okay let's get out the blender let's plug her in enzo let me go get enzo guys okay enzo is good you guys i'm gonna take this off so i don't measure anything you guys i kind of just wing it i kind of just put however much i think it needs this is clean Hi, you guys. You guys, sometimes these blenders do not wash thoroughly. I need to rinse this, I think, a little better. Yeah, let me rinse this. Okay, that's much better. Let me get the cup to pour. I have my beverage cup. Let me clean it off. Okay, I am so excited. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the... Uh, well, I guess I can pour some wine because last time I started off with the wine, so I don't measure you guys. It's probably not good, but I'm gonna pour just let me do just a little bit. Last time I made enough for two cups, and so today it'll just be me. So I'm gonna leave a little bit left, and I'm gonna just wing it on the fruits as well. So I kind of poured like a good chunk. And then let's do the sugar. Wow. 
Maybe let me start with one sugar. Basically, you guys, last time I made this, it was for two cups, and so today it's just me. So let me kind of see what one, one of each does, like one pour of everything. Um, I'm just gonna turn it on the smoothie setting. Okay, I normally wouldn't do this, you guys, but I am gonna taste it because it's just me. Let me see. Mm. Mm, that's yummy. Okay, that's really yummy. It just needs to blend more. It looks just like a jamba juice. Okay, I need it. Clean this a little bit. Okay, let me clean off the sides. This is what it looks like. You guys, it looks so good. The kids are just screaming behind me. Okay, so I got a straw. I love to drink these with straws. Looks so good. Okay, this is way better than the last time I made it. This is dangerous. Cheers. Mm. One week later. We are in the McDonald's drive through line right now. We're getting some lunch on our road trip. What, my love? You want a cookie? Hi, thank you. Yes.
struggles <laughs> okay so it is now the next day it is my tia's baby shower and i'm so sad i didn't get a lot of footage you guys these are just a few clips and photos of that day but it was so pretty i loved the aesthetic and the kiddos had such a fun time they were with me but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in our next vlog